funny movie about a great group of women uh, who happened to sing a cappella. And <laughs> the, we were obviously very thrilled when the world embraced it. It actually had a really wonderful life after its theatrical release on uh, video and DVD, and especially here in Italy, I feel like that's how people found the film was um, just watching it on their TV at home. And that's why we're here, you know, because people really love the Bellas. Um, it was fun. I really loved it. I really enjoyed the collaborative process and working with the actors, the crew especially. And um, I love this story. I think that we are telling a, a really fun story, very funny, but with a lot of heart. And I love shining a light on the talents of so many interesting women. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, songs about butts travels internationally. That's why we, did. we all have asses and appreciate the nice ones. Um, I think what's wonderful about acapella is that uh, it's it's an evol it's an evolving art form. It's very it sort of feels fresh and new, even though it's very very old. And um, the reason it feels fresh and new is because we're finally allowing acapella groups to sing pop songs. And the, one of the things we wanted to showcase in this film especially was the amazing beatboxing that happens. That's really allowed, I think, uh, acapella groups to put this incredible beat underneath what they do. And it allows for them to sing really any genre of song. And, it, and that's what we wanted to focus on, that they can literally do anything now. I was a sorority, um, Tri Delta, and uh, and I lived with women, and I am thrilled by my relationships with women, and I feel very um, connected to the women that I met, especially in college. Those are your sort of the friends that you take with you forever, um, because they're with you in a time in your life when you're figuring out who you're supposed to be. And that's what I wanted to capture in this film. I wanted to capture a sense of the sorority of these women, what it means to be a team, uh, but also that they're going, they're part of a, of a long legacy of women, as we all are. The reason I get to direct this movie is because other women came before me and directed movies. Not many, but I'm part of that legacy now, and hopefully I will inspire other women to do it. It's that sense of inspiration of, over time that I really wanted to be a part of this film. That was my contribution as a director. As for Pitch Perfect. Yeah, as for Pitch Perfect, uh, the series, um, I think we would, you know, we believe that we've created um, not just uh, an American, but a global brand of, of Pitch Perfect and, and what this film celebrates and the characters that we, we celebrate. Um, so we're both very excited about the future, but also incredibly focused on Pitch Perfect 2 and um, making it as successful as possible and having as many fans worldwide enjoy the film as possible, and we will see where we go from there. Um, are you writing a check? <laughs> yes. Pronto con un assegno? We would love nothing more to have a reason to come to Italy to film. Um, perhaps in future Pitch Perfect stories, maybe, maybe that will happen. Uh, Elizabeth and I took our honeymoon to uh, Italy. Yes, yes. How many years ago that was? Where exactly? Rome, Tuscany, and the coast. Yeah. Um, so we've, we've had wonderful experiences in Italy whenever we've been here. Um, and if we can find a way to shoot a film here, uh, that would be fantastic. Okay. Um, well, I, I think I think acapella in the United States is uh, a bigger form of music than, than, than like in, in Italy, but it still is a relatively niche um, area of American music. Um, Pentatonix obviously has been very successful uh, globally, um, but. Uh, you know, in the case of, of Pitch Perfect, I think the, the film works. I, I don't think you have to 
know and understand, much less even really like acapella to really enjoy Pitch Perfect. Um, Pitch Perfect, you know, the journey you're on with these characters is just really about the commitment they're making to what they're pursuing, um, which in this case is an acapella championship, but just it could be boxing like Rocky or, or, or football or, it, you know, in, in any number of, of activities that you have a small group of people who are extremely and obsessively and at times absurdly committed to. And that's really what the heart of Pitch Perfect is. Well, I love making people laugh. Comedy <laughs> comes very naturally to me and um, it's very addictive. Uh, I really, I wanted to create a really open environment on set. Um, we do a lot of improvisation. Uh, Rebel Wilson's a, a really excellent example of improv. Um, and that's it. I mean, we we took we took a group of misfits and put them together. And I think anytime you have underdog misfits trying to do something ridiculous, like win an acapella championship, it's already funny. Um, and it's very relatable. That's the main thing. Just making everything relatable. Life is funny. And if it's not, we should all just cry because it's too hard not to laugh. I think that music is a, singing music together is a great metaphor for how we all need each other in life. Nobody gets through life on their own. Um, we do everything together and I think that there's a real there's a, a real reason to see the movie is to see a group really coming together. I think everyone can relate to that. And also to that. Thank you very much. Grazie per essere stati con noi. Grazie mille. Elisabeth Bell.